Uh, my name is Rick Sinclair. For those of you that don't know me, I just want to tell you a little about a little bit about the person that's going to introduce Tara. So I think it's interesting sometimes to make some connections. Uh, I moved to Plano in 1976. We lived on Parker Road in between Independence and Coit. Coit was a dirt road at the time. Uh, I'm a, I'm a uh, so if, if you don't like the way I introduce Tara, realize that I am a product of PISD. <laughs> so I'm setting myself up for success, but really PISD set me up for success. And that's why I continue to come back uh, and, and, and do things and, and spend my time for, for PISD. I was a um, signal roadrunner, I was a Houston Mustang, I was a Haggard Eagle, a Clark Cougar, and I certainly identify as a Plano Senior High Wildcat. I wish we all could be Wildcats. I'm here to introduce my good friend Tara Lance. I say good friend because I have met her only a year ago. Uh, Marshall Jackson is here as well tonight, and I were the co-chairs of the 2022 Future Forward Bond Task Force. It was a lot of work. Lots of meetings, lots of things to be gone through to decide what the proposals, basically there was between 2.3 and 2.4 billion dollars of proposals that had to be considered as to what would be presented to the board for the boards to then present to the voters. It was a lot of work. Tara was there. Tara was nominated by a combo platter of the board of trustees and the district. Okay, so there was no question, she is so involved, she was going to be on our task force. I didn't know her beforehand, she was integral. We broke into, Marshall, six different subcommittees, is that right? One of which was the CTE or um, Career, Technology. Career Technology and Education. Okay, now it, it always confuses me because CTE is what I think of as head injuries for football players, okay? And I'm like, can we change this? And I was told, no, we cannot change this. So we broke up into different subcommittees. Uh, Tara was in the CTE subcommittee. She was elected by her peers already at CTE to be the subcommittee chairman, okay? Now, again, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Here's what I know about Tara, okay? She showed up, okay? She was there to work with us tirelessly. Then she showed up and became the subcommittee chair, okay? While the rest of us, we went all over the district looking at different facilities and hearing different presentations. That wasn't enough for them. They went to Louisville to look at Louisville's CTE center, all right? They went to North Richland, uh, Birdville ISD. I think my wife graduated from, from Richland High uh, over there. So I think, that, but Birdville. They went over there so that they could bring the knowledge and cross-pollinate us with what other districts have, have done, all right? This is one of the things that I look for is somebody that's willing not to just show up, but put the time in and be prepared. We're all better off for it. All right, that, that process lost, lasted about eight months. All right, got to know Tara during that. Once it was presented to the board, the board approved it, then it was gonna go to the voters, all right? There ended up being five propositions. It was a lot of work to try to educate voters on what was going on, the props A, B, C, D, and E, okay? We formed a political action, political action committee. Who joined? Tara. Tara joined. Tara was there for every meeting. Tara was invaluable, the contacts that she had and the people that she knew, because we had to get the word out. Tara shows up for us time and time again. Marshall tells a wonderful story about Coach Kimbrough who used to talk about, and again, this is what I love about our district, we're a district of excellence, right? How do we become a district of excellence? We chase perfection, and in chasing perfection, we become a district of excellence. We take from all of the different people that we have, and we get the, the accumulation of their knowledge and their ideas and their hard work, and we're a better district for it. Now, I don't want to reduce this to a cookie, but I can't pass it up. 
I don't know how many of you tasted the snickerdoodles, <laughs> which are fantastic, okay? But where did those snickerdoodles come from? Tara's mother's recipe. What did Tara do with, Tara's mo with, with her mother's recipe? She improved it. <laughs> we are a district of excellence. We are excellent in so many ways, but we are not perfect. Tara is someone that asks the question, why not? How about this? She has her own ideas, but she also is a good listener, and she listens first. So for that reason, I'm very proud to introduce to you the person that I'm endorsing and the person that my whole family is voting for. Your next Plano ISD uh, trustee for place four, Tara Lance.